Hey everybody, I am Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your body gratitude mobility workout. This is day 28 of your holiday hit challenge and today it is all about being grateful for our bodies and all of the ways that we can move. We're gonna get some yoga inspired, Pilates inspired, bar mobility moves. We'll get our hearts pumping a little bit. We'll get our muscles burning a little bit. And we're also gonna be reflecting on all of the ways that our bodies show up for us. All you need for this workout is a little bit of space and an open heart. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's start by getting centered in our bodies. So feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart, soft knees. I want you to check in with that posture. So we have our ears stacked over our shoulders, stacked over that rib cage, rib cage right over the pelvis, not leaning forward or back, right over the knees and the ankles. Take a minute and just breathe into that. Try to release the tension in your head, neck and shoulders, and just take a minute to just be. Right? So we're just standing here, we're just breathing. Let's take one hand over our heart, one hand on our belly, and don't worry, we are gonna get moving soon enough. We're just gonna take this first minute, not very long, to get centered on our bodies, to try to let everything go from the day, from the week, from the month, from the year, whatever it is that is bothering you today, I just want you to release it into that breath. So just breathing at a comfortable pace. If you want to, you can think about that deep core breathing. Inhale to expand. Exhale to lift, bring everything in and up. Not sucking in, but big full breaths through the rib cage, through the sides, through the backs. Exhale, bring everything in. A couple more just like that on your own pace. And again, I want you to think about anything that is bringing negativity to your brain, to your life. Let's just let it all go. You are here. We're gonna get moving. So just let it release. I know these things feel kind of silly. And if you're like me, you're like, oh, let's get to the good stuff. I wanna be moving my body and we will, but we wanna take a minute to get centered. So keep that good posture, that good breathing. Let's march, let's roll those shoulders. So we are gonna be taking you through a moving meditation. So a little bit of our typical cardio mobility, yoga, Pilates inspired mobility. But as I'm talking you through it, we are gonna be appreciating our bodies. So again, if meditation, things like that, affirmations are not your thing, don't worry about it. It's not that kind of a workout, but we are going to use this as a way to get centered. So often I spend a lot of time talking about, you know, press through your heel, make sure your core is engaged, all important things. And I will remind you of that as well. But our focus with our brains today, our minds, our souls, is to connect with our body and to practice gratitude. This is something that we talk a lot, a, a lot about in yoga. It's a big component of yoga practices. Take it nice and wide, lean into it here. So we're gonna add a little bit of that here. But again, I know I'm one of those people that, too that's like, oh, I don't have time for this, which is why we need it, right? So we will get that good mobility. We will get the heart pumping. Maybe you're already feeling it. Let's step out into it. Really open out and in. But as we get through these, we're also gonna be talking specifically about what we're feeling, right? So I want you to think big open. Yes, the world is yours. Open it up and then hug it in. Open, yes, giving your body a hug as you come in, thanking your body for showing up today, for you showing up in this workout, showing up every day in your life. Give that body a hug. One more each side. And hold it here, just hug it in. Relax in those shoulders. Let's take those arms up and down. Breathe. 
So as our heart rate gets up, little hinge. We're here. I want you to be thinking about what your lungs are doing, what your heart is doing. Let's reach it down. So this looks similar to our regular warm up, right? So that's on purpose so we can get through it. Of course, if you wanna stay standing, I want you to stay here with that hinge. If you'd rather inchworm it out, inchworm it, it's such a great mobility move. I want you to walk it out nice and slow, hold that high plank and walk it back. Whether you're just hinging and reaching or inchworming, I want you to be thinking about how your entire body is working together, right? So we're starting with our feet, we're reaching up tall, all the way, fingertips to toes, reaching down, walking it out. Core is stabilizing here, everything is working together. Think about that, your body is always working in synergy. And what we're doing in our workouts is designed to help it continue to do that, right? Working together. Everything is connected, right? It's like that song where the bones, leg bone connected to the knee bone, all of it, right? All working together all the time. Walk it back and reach it out right here. Let's just, let's just go right into that tap and reach. We'll get those tap backs, those hip openers later, but let's get the heart rate up. So like I said, some gentle cardio, and just like our other cardio mobility days, I want you to be where you are today. If you need more of the mobility, really take your time with it, really focus on that stretch. If you want more of the cardio, I know for me, it really gets my endorphins going, really gets ah, that adrenaline going. So I like that feeling of my heart rate getting up. If you need a little less, take it a little less. If you need a little more, take it a little more. But while we're doing this, feel the breath, feel that heart pumping. You can even keep the lower body and feel your heart pumping here, right? Think about all of the things that your heart is doing. It is pumping the blood through your entire body. It is bringing the oxygen to your cells. It is transporting nutrients to your muscles, to everything in your body. That heart, that heart muscle is working hard all of the time. And the things we do in these workouts, let's take it down, a little reach. Again, you can take it nice and slow, or if you want a little more cardio, take it here. When we challenge our heart and our lungs in our workouts, we're just making it stronger. We're making it more efficient. We're making it better at doing its job. So while that heart is pumping and in your workouts after the today, anytime that heart rate is up, anytime you're feeling a little out of breath, I want you to thank your heart for being efficient, for pumping blood and oxygen and nutrients to your entire body, getting the stuff that we need back to center, tap it across one more time. Take it to a little march, hand on your heart. <sighs> Feel that beating? That is the heart showing up for us. Take a minute, you can march or you can stand. If you wanna stand, take it here. <sighs> and say thank you, heart. You can say it out loud, you can say it in your head, you can keep marching if you want, but let's thank your heart for doing the most important job in your body today. Thank you, heart. Really believe it. Your heart is working for you all the time and you are working for your heart, right? To keep it strong and healthy. All right, let's turn to our side. We're gonna do that tap back reach. So reach it here. Let's start nice and slow, big reach. So you can think of that, that warrior if you wanted to get more of that warrior from yoga. You do a little lean back, turn that foot up. It's up to you if you wanna just take it here. But big reach and down. Let's drop it down right here. So whatever is good for you, if you can drop it low in that lunge, I love it if you need to keep it a little higher, that's okay too. Take that hand down and open up right here. So it's that world greatest stretch, right? So I want you to try to take that foot up just a bit, drop the knee, 
just like we do in our warm ups. Three, two, one. Push out of that front leg. Same thing, other side. So you go down as far as is good for you. If you need to keep it higher, you can. If you can drop it here, reach it out, slide that foot out in the front, drop it. Three, two, one. Step it in right here. I'm gonna turn to the front. You stay right where you are. Here, drop it down, reach it up. Other side, three, two, one. And then I want you to take this inside hand, watch me if you need to, and just press out gently on that knee. Little shift of the weight, side to side. Push through that front leg. Other side, let's take it here. Drop it down if you can, reach. Drop that back knee, three, two, one. Take this hand down, little gentle, side to side, three, two, one. Let's step it in right here. Take those knees out and I want you to round it up flat back down like we do, flat and round it up. As you feel that little leg burn, let's think about our legs, our lower body. I know a lot of us, I'm one of them, especially women, don't always appreciate all that our legs can do. Let's hold it here, let's just press out on the inside, roll those shoulders. A lot of times we're thinking about what our legs look like. Maybe we don't like the shape. Maybe we don't like the size. Maybe we think that our butt is too big or our legs are too jiggly or too short. Let's walk those feet in here. And I want you to take it to that chair pose. Sit low. We're here. I want you to take those hands down if you can or on a chair if you need to. Extend up and stretch. Take it down and reach it up. Stay right here with me. Take it down. Hands down if you can, stretch it up. So I want you to take those things that maybe you don't like about your lower body and I want you to try to forget about them because what we're gonna focus on is all of the things that our lower body does for us. Maybe you're a runner, maybe that's run a marathon. Maybe you can swing a heavy kettlebell. Maybe it's keeping up with your kids or your grandkids. Maybe it's walking the stairs at your house or your job. <sighs> Whatever it is, I want you to think about all of the ways that your legs are working hard for you every day. Maybe it's going for a hike. <sighs> Maybe it's wearing your favorite jeans or your favorite leggings or sweatpants. Whatever it is, those legs are strong. Those glutes are strong. You're here, you're working through it. Let's show some lower body love. If you can, I want you to stay here and pedal those heels like we do in that hamstring stretch. If that's too much, you can have your hands up and do that, or again, hinge on a bench, on a chair. But take it here. Think about the ways that your legs are working for you. Just getting you from one place to another. Maybe it's just sitting at your desk all day. Maybe that gets repetitive, but your legs are working for you. Slowly roll it up. And then let's go into that hamstring stretch. Stretch it out, right? Nice and slow. If you want it to be a little quicker, a little more cardio, you can. Otherwise, just here to here. Ah, thank you, legs. Say it with me again, in your head or out loud. Thank you, legs. Thank you, glutes. Thank you, booty. Thank you, hips. Think about those hips. For me, I think about supporting me through my pregnancy, right? My pregnancies helping me birth a baby. And I had one that I pushed out, one that was cut out of me. Either way, I needed that lower body to support me through all of that. And thank you for helping me carry said children throughout the day. Let's step touch it side to side and breathe. So we're here again, nice and slow if you want. If you want that cardio, we're gonna tap behind. Think about all the different ways your lower body helps you move. So we're moving laterally, right? We can move in that transverse plane, which is what we're doing as we tap behind. We can move forward and back. We can get up and down from a chair, from a couch, from the floor. Thank you, lower body. So if you wanna take this a little more of that skater, you can breathe. But we're gonna take this last 30 seconds and I want you to think about that lower body. I'm gonna stop talking. Maybe you're sick of me talking. But 30 seconds, 
try not to be thinking about your to-do list or something that has nothing to do with this workout. I want you to just stay centered, think about your body. 30 seconds, focus on those legs, those glutes, and all the ways they show up for you. out hand on your heart hand on your belly march to bring that heart rate down again feel that heart feel those lungs working think about those legs this entire workout is focusing on what our body can do what our body does do not what it can't do so if you didn't get as low on those skaters as you wanted who cares you did them if you don't feel like you have perfect form in your squats, who cares? Think about what you did do. Let's grab a quick sip of water. Since we've got that heart pumping, how about we move on to some upper body? How are we feeling? I hope you're feeling good. Keep it moving. We're gonna take it right here. So I want you to do a little hinge. And we're just taking those arms up. You can stay straight up if you can hinge a little bit. I want you to thumbs up. We're gonna make a big I, we're gonna make a Y, and we're gonna make a T. So we're keeping those thumbs up. So again, you can go straight up and down, or a little hinge to get more of your back. Join me here. I, Y, T. My thumbs are up the entire time. I, Y, T. As you're going through this, think about how strong your shoulders are. Think about how strong your back is. Think about that range of motion, even if it's smaller, even if you can't go as far, even if you're lacking a little bit in shoulder mobility, which most of us are. It's all connected and it's working together. I want you to keep that going. Let's flip our thumbs down. I, Y, T, feel the difference, right? I, Y, think about how amazing it is that you could shift that positioning just by moving your thumbs, feeling more of the back of the arms. Let's get one more. I, Y, T, and let's press it up right here. You can do it with or without the knees, whatever you want, press up. Mobility, right? Shoulders, arms. As we're doing this, I want you to think of something that your arms and your back and your upper body does for you every day. How does it show up for you? Maybe it is, for me, lifting those kids every day. Maybe it is sustaining a long work day at the computer. Maybe it is, let's push them out now. Push them out right here, elbows in. Again, with or without the knees, if you'd rather just tap. We just want mobility, we want movement. Maybe it is cooking a meal in the kitchen, which maybe a lot of you are doing today. <sighs> Bring those elbows in. Maybe it was hugging someone you love. How much do we love hugs? Did we miss hugs over the last year or so? Press them up, press them out, two and two. <sighs> Again, you decide. If you want more cardio, <sighs> you can take it a little quicker. If you want more mobility, just get the upper body moving, little taps. But upper body love, what do you love about that upper body? Forget about what maybe you don't like about your arms when you wear a tank top, about what you don't feel or what you do feel when you're doing a tricep extension or a bicep curl. Maybe you think you're not strong enough, but you are. Think about all the things you do all day long. Sometimes I forget that I lift my 50 pound five-year-old and let's go one and one and my 30 pound three-year-old all day long that I load things up in my car that I carry lots of groceries <sighs> all of the things we do with our hands with our arms <sighs> let's take it here so a little reach or punch if you don't like boxing you just want to reach 
Otherwise, let's get that punch, but more of that extension, right? Because we really want to pivot and through. So think about all the ways we love our arms. Upper body love. And again, let's take 30 seconds. Reach across or punch across. Upper body. All the ways it shows up for you. If you want variety, take it to that upper. Reach, reach, yes. over your head, five seconds, three, two, one, relax, stretch it out right here, ah. those arms, the back, the hands, so many things that they do for you all day, how about we take it down to our mat, another quick sip of water if we want it, hope you're feeling good. We're gonna focus a little bit on core and mobility from the ground. I'm gonna give you several options. If you need to keep it standing, keep it standing. If you can, let's take it right here. Feel that little stretch on your knees. Come into all fours. You can stay on all fours if you want, or you can take it to that bear plank, lifting the knees. Big inhale, big exhale, lift. Slow inhale, exhale, lift. If you need to stay on those knees, especially pregnancy, early postpartum healing and diastasis, I want you to keep the knees down or lift one at a time. Push those hands into the ground as you lift with the core. I want you to let go of any feelings that you have about your abdominals, about your core area, about your tummy, about that belly, whatever it is. Let it go and concentrate on the strength. Your core. That's why it's called the core. It is literally the center of your body. <sighs> Wherever you are with the bear plank or just the breath, I want you to add a little cat cow to it. <sighs> so if you're lifting your knees, you're rounding up. Think about the way your core is the center of all of the movement. Everything you do in your body, your core is working for you. <sighs> so you can keep it right here, or if you're able, we're gonna press it up to that down dog little stretch back down to knees. You can keep it here or press it up. Feel that stretch back to knees. It's up to you. Whatever is good for you today, you're exactly where you need to be in your body. That core is originating that movement and pushing you through. Your upper body and lower body can work and move effectively because of your core strength. And again, I don't care what it looks like. I don't care if you have loose skin, if you feel like things are hanging out, if you have a six pack or not. I care that you're moving through your core and your core is working for you. One more. Hold it up here if you can, if that's good for you, and just pedal those feet. Otherwise, stay in that cat cow and breathe. And if it's good for you, let's take it to that pigeon. If you'd rather just sit and open it here, you can take it here. I want you to lean over into that. Feel that stretch in the hip and feel those sides. Again, your core is supporting you through this movement. And those hips. Roll the knees one and then the other or together. Stay here or take it here. Let's go one more each side, rolling through. Think about those abs, that strength you have. Our core is literally what keeps us upright. <laughs> so the fact that you can stand straight up and down, if you can, or sit, or whatever it is for you and your personal mobility, that is your core working hard for you. So again, think about your core in all the ways it shows up for you. If you've had babies, the way everything expanded to make room to support your body, maybe it's not that, maybe it's how you're able to support those around you. Maybe you're a caretaker for someone else. Let's take it back. We're coming on the elbows from here and we're just gonna reach. It's a bird dog from 
the knees and elbows here to here. This should be safe for everybody. If this doesn't feel good for you, just get a little stretch. And then if you're ready, we're gonna walk it back. You can keep it just right here if you need to, or otherwise take it here. We're gonna drop the knees. We're gonna drop the hips. We're gonna bring it up. We're gonna bring it up. Plank singles, again, focusing on that strong core. Bring the hips to the ribs, lift through. Yes, abs, thank you, core. Say it out loud or in your head. Thank you, core, for all the ways you work for me, all the ways you show up for me. Let's go one more. And then sit back into that child's pose. Oh, we love this one. Ooh, mobility, right? Bring it through right here. Sit into that. Breathe. Sit up onto those knees if that's comfortable for you. A little stretch back of those hip flexors. If you want to reach back, you can. If that's right for you. Otherwise, just reach up to the ceiling. And then let's sit back, child's pose. We thanked our lower body, our upper body, our core. Bring it up. Reach as you're doing this. And you can choose to stay in the child's pose if that's better for you or that reach back. I want you to think about the people you love in your life. Maybe that is a child or your children. Maybe that's a spouse or a partner. Maybe that's a parent. Maybe that's a best friend. Who is it that you love? What do you want for them and their bodies? What would you tell them? You would want them to take care of their bodies, to be strong, to have good heart and lung function, to be healthy. And you would want them to focus on what their bodies can do and not what their bodies look like, right? I think about this a lot with my kids, but really with everybody in my life. I want them to know that their worth is not in the size of their body or anything about what their body looks like, but their worth is in who they are. Sit back into that child's pose. And very carefully, let's roll over onto our back. We're gonna drop those knees one at a time. Here, drop, reach those arms, look to the other side. And just very carefully on your own pace, you're rolling through one and then the other. And as you're doing this again, I want you to focus on whoever you identified that you love and what you want for them. What would you say to them? I want you to be strong. I want you to be healthy. I want you to feel good. I want you to move well. I want you to be around for a long time. And who you are is who you are inside, who you are as a person. Your body is going to show up for you because of who you are. And that is what matters. That's what counts, right? Take both of those knees out. You can walk your feet out. That's a little more comfortable. Open those palms up. Bring your feet up one at a time. Slowly lift up in that bridge, just nice and slow. More to get that hip flexor stretch. And then slowly down. And breathe. Bring one knee into your chest and just gently pull it in. You can extend the other leg out or keep it up, whatever's good. And then extend it up, feel that stretch. Uh, and other side, bring it in. Extend it up. And take a 
down. Again, let those knees open up or lay those legs flat, palms up to the ceiling. We're just gonna take these last few minutes just to breathe and to be. Relax the tension. Feel that breath, feel your body sink into the floor. Thank you, body. Say it with me out loud or in your head. I know it's cheesy, but say it. Believe it. Thank you, body. And my body is good. My body is powerful. My body is strong. And my body shows up. Breathe into that and just take these last few seconds just to be completely relaxed. Hopefully you feel like we got the energy up and we got you feeling nice and mobile. And just take a little inventory of your body all the way from your toes, up to your knees, up to your hips, up to your ribs to your arms, your fingers, your hands, your elbows, your shoulders, your chest, your head, your neck, your shoulders, all the way up from your toes to your head. Your body is strong and capable and you are here. Stay right there as long as you want. Or if you want, you can gradually roll to the side and come up halfway. I hope you liked that. Let me know in the comments if you did. Come back to this anytime. You need to be reminded of your body and your gratitude for your body. Let's go one big deep breath in. And out. You did it. That was your body gratitude mobility workout. Great job, everybody.